Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our bin one. It's been 12 days since my last update, and we got to check to see how it's doing and see how the material is really working and if it needs another feeding. So I'm probably going to go a little heavy on this feeding again. I think I did last time, and we'll see how it's going, though. Let's take a look. We're going to add some more crushed eggshell. We'll see if it needs any more bedding and go through all the items that it might need. So 12 days is a little bit longer than I was hoping to do. I was hoping to get it at about you know 10 days or so, but let's go and take a look and see. Okay, so here's our bin one. I already marked today's date of 821. So as you can see here from 8-9 to 8-21, 12 days. I'll flip this over. Looks like quite a bit of moisture on the top here. Looks like it's all right. A little dry on this side comparatively, but it looks like it's good. Uh, remember last time we marked where we actually fed. So you can see that this white cloth is here and that's the side that we fed on. Uh, I'm seeing a couple worms here on the sides, but not many. Uh, actually very few. Uh, so it looks like we're, we're doing good with that. There's only a couple worms on this side over here. So I'm going to take this cloth off and just move it to the side like that. And let's just dig where we fed and see how it looks over here. Oh, I'm actually still seeing a lot of food in here and it looks like it might need some moisture. Looks like this is a little dried out. But plenty of food in here, so we're not going to be adding any food to this. Um, this definitely needs to be a little bit, go a little bit longer. In fact, let's just dig this up a little bit here, move it off to the side just a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely going to need to go a little longer. There's a lot more food in here than I expected. I thought they'd work through it a little bit more. So let's just put that back in here. But we're going to add a little bit of material of uh, grit to this, I think. I'm wondering if I, I think for last time I might have forgotten to add grit. I can't, I can't remember. So we're going to add some grit. We're going to add some moisture to it on that side to just kind of get, keep it a little bit more moist and then we'll put that cloth back on top. So first off, the grit. And I've got that right here. I've got these little bottles here and I use that so it doesn't come up in the air. I'm going to add a lot of grit to this though. All right. Because it's going to work its way through there. That's for perfectly fine. Let me grab the uh, watering can. I'm going to add some water. This is going to be a short update that today because of this. So we need to water this down, get it nice and moist. We'll add a little bit of water throughout the entire bin here. All right, not gonna add too much, but we are gonna try to mix this up just a little bit here. I think that some of this material is so, it's not getting the microbes it needs to be able to, to break down. So you need to kind of mix it up here a little bit with some microbes from this, uh, this already composted material. So there we go. But we're gonna, we're gonna try to uh, cover this back up again a little bit. So it looks like there's some worms on this side over here, actually. And actually, hold on, here's a worm with a cocoon right here. Look at this. You can see the worm right there and has a cocoon on it. I don't know if it just uh, it just ejected it or if it just happens to be right, right up against it, but uh, I've never seen that before where the worm has the cocoon on it. So we're going to put that over here as well. It looks like there's a lot of juveniles in here. Um, I'm wondering if that's part of the reason. I wonder if there's a... Just kind of look over here, maybe on this side. See if we see any more cocoons. Some of this material looks kind of thick, almost like uh, almost muddy, which I usually try to, to prevent now in my, my bins by keeping them a little bit more uh, dry. But by the way, this doesn't smell bad at all. There's no odor to this, at least not a bad odor. The odor actually almost smells like citrusy for some reason. I don't know why, but it has like a citrus odor to it, even though I don't think I've added citrus to this one. So overall, I'm not seeing any cocoons other than that one. See plenty of healthy worms here, though. You know, moving around. So here, I mean, here's one right here, nice and healthy. Another one down here. Again, nice and healthy. Actually, hold on. Here's a cocoon right here. Right here on the tip. I don't know if you can see that with the light. Oop, it just fell. But uh, there was a cocoon there. I don't know if you're able to see it or not. It's hard to tell sometimes with the camera. But uh, so there's definitely some cocoons in here. 
But uh, we're, we'll see. We'll have to come back to this in, a, in a, maybe a little bit longer next time before I uh, do an update. I thought 12 days might be enough. I thought actually they'd work through this in 10 days, but apparently not. So that's our update for this week. I'm just going to cover this back up here as our marker of where we fed. I did have food ready to go, but apparently we don't need it this time. So that's it for my update this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please, of course, leave a comment and let me know. So thank you for watching.